could two motorcycles and 50 pounds of cocaine disappear into thin air? Answer me that. Well? Mirrors. What? The scene is in Vegas. Siegfried and Roy. They made a whole jet plane disappear, and they done it with mirrors. Terrific. Do me a favor, make this van disappear. Ah. And you two, I want a full report on my desk by noon. Come on, Sandy, you used to be a reporter. You know the spot I'm in. Give me something, anything. Larry, I told you, we're withholding comment until after the investigation. You expect me to go on the air with that? I need some color. Find a girl in a bikini. You got something, Bernie? Yeah. Looks like a little piece of a mirror. Funny, Bernie, you're a laugh a lifetime. Commander! Oh, no, not now. Commander! Forget it, I'm not talking to him. Remember the last time drug transport got hit? The press crucified us. They'll crucify us anyway. Why should I make their job easy for them? That's why I like working with you, Commander. You're always so image conscious. Four black and whites at the mop-up. Where the hell is everybody? Four to one? Mark, was you kidding? Mark is risking his life out there. He's jumping four cars on a police hoss. What do you want him to do, ride backwards with a blindfold? I'll oh, cut the hustle, Walsh. Your partner's real good, and you know it. Two to one is the best I can give you. Double your money. I got a clearance. Well, what about you guys? You in or out? All units. Odds information on the first annual harbor jump. Now going off at two to one. Respond. What the hell is the first annual harbor jump? I have no idea. Why don't we make a little detour? Anybody else have the money they want to get rid of? That's everybody, Walsh. Where's Mark? Yeah, bring on the legend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Gentlemen, it's showtime. Did you made it?
Now, let me get this straight. You were raising funds for the Police Charity Association. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do I look like an idiot? No, no sir. Thank you. I was a rookie once. I know about street pressure. You guys have to blow off a little steam from time to time. We all did it. But we didn't do it on department hours. I can't bust the entire division. But I'm going to set an example. You're both suspended for two weeks. There it is, sir. I think we should definitely consider another candidate for Operation Street Hawk. Tuttle, we profiled hundreds of candidates, and the director feels most emphatically, as I do. Jesse Mock is the best man for the job. Well, uh, why don't I just run it back for you one more time? Look, the, the man is, is reckless, he's irresponsible, and he shows no regard for his equipment. That's exactly what we're looking for. A cop with a test pilot mentality, a man who pushes himself beyond the limit. But, sir, I don't think I could work with a man like that. Tuttle, you're a damn good engineer. The best. That's why I was put in charge of this operation. And... But you don't know a damn thing about the human factor. Jesse Mock has the right stuff. Sir, I have invested the past four years of my life in this project. It's my baby. Then don't blow it now. Well, it's good seeing you again, Norman. I gotta catch the red eye back to Washington. Keep me informed. <laughs> Devil's Kitchen. It's real squirrely, lots of gravel, no tourists. Yeah, sounds like my kind of place. 20 bucks says I beat you there. You're on. Oh, yeah. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. I gave myself a head start. What a guy. You need a 716. Hey, thanks for the help, but I know my bike. <clears throat> like I said, 716. Thanks. <clears throat> Don't you have a picnic or something to go to? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here to see you. My name is Norman Tuttle. I'm a research engineer. I work for the federal government. Hey, Norman, you hand me that hammer. <clears throat> um. You don't seem to understand. I'm here on official business. Uh, that's really great. But if you want to talk, you're going to have to help. Uh, which hammer? The greasy ball peen or the chewed up rubber mallet? The heavy one. Uh, are you always this abusive with your equipment? Only when it doesn't work. Pure cocaine, 30,000 a pound. Looks good. The hell's that? Get him! Proposal 
design, execution, everything. Well, almost everything. Um, you'd be working independent of the local authorities. It would, it would just be you and me in a top priority clandestine operation. Not interested. Not interested, but you haven't even heard about the operation yet. Sorry, Norman. I just don't trust feds. You never know whose side they're on. Hey, say, Norman, you mind uh, picking up the tools? I'm running a little behind schedule. Thanks, Norman. Take it easy, pal. Want me to get the door? Uh, thanks, Mike. I can manage. Sorry, Mark. I got held up. Well, you look good. Thanks. How's the investigation going? IA's got it. IA's got it. What's it doing in internal affairs? Now, don't get excited. They just want to make sure that Marty wasn't involved in anything. <laughs> I don't believe this. Somebody upstairs thinks Marty was dirty. Nobody's accusing anybody of anything. It's just going to sit there for the next six months. Isn't it? My best friend's dead. Nobody around here seems to give a damn. He was a cop. Doesn't that mean anything anymore? I want to get back to work. You're not going to like it? Where'd you stick me? Public relations. Same rank and salary. What am I going to do in public relations? I'm a motorcycle cop. All I know is the street. I saw your medical record, Jesse. Your knee's a mess. I can't put you back on the street. Now, you can take the new job, or you can go home. It's your choice. We deal mainly with the media, newspaper, radio, and television. But we also like to get out into the community as much as possible, setting up department tours and organizing a variety of fundraisers like the Police Celebrity Golf Tournament. Am I going too fast for you? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I know what you meant. Look, I didn't ask for this. Neither did I. OK, fine. But since we're stuck with each other, why don't we try and make the best of it? Sandy. Oh, Commissioner Miller, I was uh, just briefing Officer Mock on his new responsibilities. It's a whole new ballgame on the inside, isn't it, Mock? But I've got this gut feeling you're going to fit right in. Well, I'm really looking forward to that police celebrity golf tournament. I'm even thinking of picking up a new set of clubs. Good. Well, I have to run along. If I can be of any help to you at all, you know where my office is. Sandy, don't forget our lunch on Tuesday. We really have to talk about that city council presentation. So long. Uh, where were we? Making the best of it.
What are you doing, man? Watch where you're walking! The Fed? Can we talk? That was my first trophy. Got that when I was 14. I was 18 when I won internationals. Very impressive. Not really. Most of us are burnt out by 22. Is that why you quit racing? No. No, I wanted to be a cop. You didn't come here to look at my trophies. What's on your mind, Mr. Tuttle? Well, uh, the same thing that was on it when I first met you. Operation Street Hawk. Look, the offer still stands. Haven't you noticed? <sighs> no knee. There's a, a new prosthesis that can repair the damage. Yeah, well, how come my doctor never heard about it? Because it hasn't been approved by the FDA as of yet. It's a very complicated, expensive operation. According to our doctors, it can be done. Why are you going to all this trouble? Why me? Well, there are some people who are convinced that you have what it takes, the uh, so-called right stuff. <laughs> what would I be doing? Testing a highly sophisticated piece of equipment. Welcome to Command Center. Come on, come on, you're gonna love it. I don't believe this place. Wow, looks like the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. This is my master control module. I can monitor the entire city right from this chair. Really? What's that blinking red light in the corner of the map? That's Street Hawk. Specifically, it's an all-terrain pursuit vehicle. Whatever it is, I want to ride it. What's this, Norman? Uh, this is a standard government contract. You should read it over very carefully. And when can I ride the bike? As a, a security precaution, I want you to continue your work as a public relations officer with the police department. Yeah, great, will... great. But when do I ride the bike? We'll be uh, functioning as a team, but I'm your immediate superior, so anything What about can... the bike, Norman? Trust me. Sign here. So when do I get to take her out? When I say you're ready? All right, this is your workout room. You've got everything you need in here to build up those leg muscles. Great. When does Jane Fonda get here? Uh, she doesn't. Now, why don't you get started? You've got a lot of work to do. 
dropped out those press releases at the mayor's office. He's been working here for the past three weeks and I hardly ever see him. So then I checked Marty's file. Not one preliminary report's been done. No lab workups, nothing. Well, I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Yeah, somebody's sitting on the case. I just can't figure out why. So how's the knee? Oh, takes a licking, keeps on ticking. Oh. <clears throat> well, that's uh, good. Now, uh... I know. Ten more. It has an aerodynamic drag coefficient of 0.05. Friction is almost non-traceable. It's also equipped with a hydraulic suspension system which can adjust to either off-road or street use. Tricky, Norman. Real tricky. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, all right. Now, these are high-volume high volume air boxes. They boost the horsepower. How fast does she go? It's, uh, it's estimated cruising speed is uh, 200 miles per hour. <whistles> what a juice. With hyperthrust, it should approach 300. 300? <clears throat> well, what's hyperthrust? Well, it's a computer assist mode that I control. Hey, I'm wait a minute. I thought I was the test Relax. pilot. Relax. You are the test pilot, but this system happens to be a little too complex for one man to handle. Now, I told you that. I'm tied in by closed circuit audio and video. If there's any malfunction, I can shut down the bike and hopefully avoid any disaster. Just what I need. A backseat driver. <clears throat> yeah, well, would you stand back, please? I'd like to show you something else. Now, for maximum braking, I've completely redesigned the airfoils to take full advantage of negative airflow. If necessary, you can stop on a dime. Well, what's this baby doing? Uh, you shouldn't touch that. That controls the compressed air vertical lift system. One blast of that and you launch 30 meters into the air. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Oh, dear. Hey, Norman, hear me out, buddy. Look, if I hit this vertical lift system, right, mm -hmm. then I jam on the air falls, what would happen? Well, theoretically, you'd do a mid-air backflip and probably kill yourself, so I wouldn't even think about that one, okay? Too bad. Sounds like fun. Right. Now, I think uh, we've done about enough for tonight. Next time, we'll go into its defense and attack apparatus. What I do? Nothing. It wasn't programmed for you yet. Great alarm system. Mark, don't leave yet, okay? What's up? I want you to wear this leg brace. Just a sec. It's in here. Once Operation Street Hawk gets underway, I don't want anyone suspecting it's you. Um, you really shouldn't be touching anything in here, okay? Thanks. <clears throat> you know, I just don't know why this thing's so top secret. Well, apparently there are some people who might not take too kindly the idea of an attack motorcycle patrolling their streets. Um, let me just have that. Thanks. I don't want anything getting in the way of Operation Street Hawk. Once it's been tested, the decision will be made as to whether or not we can offer it to local law enforcement. Here we go. Let's get it all cleaned out for you. Mock, someday, my dream is to have a street hawk in every police garage in the country. <sighs> Excuse me, okay? Well, how long is that gonna take? I mean, I didn't sign up for life. It'll take as long as it takes. Oh, uh... 
And you did sign up for life. For life? Sorry, Jess, but that bike's not here. It's got to be there. And IA has Marty's case. All the evidence should have been tagged and logged in. Well, what can I tell you? If it's not on the tube, I don't have it. All right. See this? Do you know what this is? Uh, a mayonnaise jar full of dirt. Exactly. And they expect me to find bomb fragments in this schmutz. Lousy the fire department comes in, pine saws the entire street. This dirt is cleaner than my bathroom. You see what I'm up against, Jesse? Bernie, can you help me or not? What do you got? Paint chips. I need a full analysis. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Look at this mess. I'm backed up to here. Bernie, it's important. All right. We'll put him on a pile. Thanks, pal. I owe you. Everybody owes me. If you all paid up, I could retire. Hi there. Okay, let's file to the left. Hey. Bob, let's push out. Get back here. Oh, freeze. You're both under arrest. <laughs> oh. You must be my 9 o'clock tour. You're early. No, you're late. I'd like to have a word with you. Excuse us, please. I take a lot of pride in my department, Officer Mock. I feel it's just as important as any other division in the entire police department. And I'm getting very tired of you treating it like a second job. Now, if you don't have a real good excuse for being everywhere but your desk, I'm filing a formal complaint with Commander Altabelli and Commissioner Miller. It's personal. That's not good enough. My best friend was murdered. And somebody in this place wants it forgotten. Is that good enough? That's a very serious accusation. Do you have any proof? No, not yet. But I'm working on it. You know, you're not a street cop anymore. You work for public relations now. Let the police department handle the investigation. We handle the public and the press. Weren't you a reporter once? Yes, I was. Well, doesn't getting to the truth matter to you anymore? Or have you just gotten too good at covering it up? Take the heat. You set up that next shipment yet? I have to be careful. It's still too close to the last time. You got a week. That's impossible. I can't do it. You can do anything. You're the police commissioner. You don't understand. It's not easy to set these things up. There's still a lot of heat from last time. They'll find a way. What's happening with Mark? Been asking a few questions in the department. Nothing to be concerned about. I can handle it. Baby. I'm really feeling sick. I need some more medicine. 
I have to get back. I'll be waiting for your call. Baby, I really need it. Get out of my way. Jimmy. Yes, sir. Kill Mark. This is your nerve center. How does it feel? Perfect fit. Now, you'll notice the digital readouts in each corner. Uh, the left computes your speed in RPMs, and the right calibrates distance. Now, directly below that is what we call a monocle targeting system. Uh, you, you're also equipped with an infrared detectors and, and light amplification for all weather and night fighting capability. Anything you see, I see. And it's, it's automatically recorded. Do you mind? Sorry. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I need an exact body mold for your racing suit. Are you... Don't move or we'll have to do it all over again. I guess some people pay a lot of money for this kind of treatment. Now this activates a high energy particle beam. There are two basic settings. The maximum charge can neutralize a 10 ton truck. With reduced power, you can stun and immobilize a suspect. So I don't have to tell you what would happen if you chose the wrong setting. Any hand weapons? Just one. This will fire a soft rubber slug. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Norman, when can I get out of here? Uh, I've never been too pleased Norman. with where I placed it, this. It was fine where you had it, Norman! No! Non, je la déteste, au contraire. Je ne suis venue rien que pour vous. Alors, je vous écoute. Je me suis dit que ce serait peut-être une excellente idée de se connaître un peu mieux, non Oui. À quoi songez-vous en particulier Oh, rien d'autre qu'une conversation. Alors, elle lui a chanté « Bon anniversaire, chef !» Il a voulu lui faire la bise et là, il s'est aperçu que c'était un inspecteur déguisé. Il en était malade. Il a mis le collègue à pied pour une semaine. Vous avez l'air de ne pas le détester du tout. C'est vrai, encore qu'on ait eu des frictions. Nous aussi, non C'est vrai. On en a eu un peu, nous aussi. Pourquoi êtes-vous là ce soir Vous m'avez dit une chose précise. Une chose à laquelle j'ai pensé ensuite au sujet de la vérité qu'il fallait chercher. Mmh. Bon, J'étais sûrement agacé, je crois. Excusez-moi. J'ai parlé au patron. Je lui ai parlé de votre idée d'enquête et il a dit que vous étiez un peu parano. Vous le croyez aussi Je n'en sais rien du tout. Un type à moto a cherché à me tuer il y a une heure à peine dans le garage. Et ça n'était pas une illusion. 
And with these new funds for the task force, we project that gang-related crime will drop 18%. Thank you, Commissioner Miller. It will be difficult to deny your fiscal request after such an excellent presentation. Council will adjourn for 10 minutes. I hear someone tried to kill you the other day. Word sure travels fast around here. You're running your own investigation, aren't you, Mark? Listen to me, you're not a one-man police force. The next time somebody tries to take you out, I want to hear about it. You understand, Mark? I want to hear about it. We had an agreement. Yeah, nothing. I was supposed to handle Mock. I told you, no more murders. Let's just get one thing straight. You don't tell me anything. I tell you. Not anymore. I'm out. I need that shipment. New York is expecting it. Tell him your source just dried up. business commitment. I expect you to live up to it. But I might get a little carried away. And that wouldn't be very good for your pretty little car and your pretty little face. Do we understand each other? Why'd you stop? I'm tired. Tired? That's no excuse. What is it? Is it your knee? No, no, no. I'm just tired. Well, then come on. Hey, you come on. You run on this thing for a while. I thought I was testing a motorcycle, not a treadmill. Norman. Mm. Norman, let's just take the night off, huh? Let's just go out and party. I don't take time off, and I never party. Now, uh, if you keep running, two more miles. I'll tell you, Norman. You got a real problem, pal. You ought to loosen up. Join the human race. I don't have time. We've got a lot of work to do. According to this report, the police department has been losing large quantities of cocaine. A hijacker intercepts a police van and then disappears without a trace. This is a perfect case for Street Hawk. Well, I can't get those routes or departure schedules. That stuff's classified. That's not a problem. All I have to do is tap into the Coast Guard's computer and find out when their next scheduled disposal is. We couldn't ask for a better situation. Two lightweight motorcycles outmaneuvering both police cycles and squad cars. It's a natural. Well, don't you think we ought to try a shakedown run first? One more thing. How do I get out of here? Now don't push it. Just get the feel of the bike. I got it. Man, it feels great. What's there to start with? Series one. Chase maneuvers. Come on, sweetheart. Let's see what you can do. Sweetheart?
Let's move into series two. Come on, Norman. I'm aging. We do just a second. Hyperthrust happens to be a very complex procedure. You're cleared. Now remember, Mark, hyperthrust is computer assist. All you have to do is hold on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That's boogie. <laughs> Performing all of my expectations. She's overheating. Bring her in. Oh, come on, Norman. I'll just start to have some fun. The night's not young. Mark, you boogie your butt back home. Do you read me? Right, Chief. Back to base. Snake. Hey, Norman, something's going down. What are you doing? Series three. You are not cleared for encounter. Repeat, you are not cleared for encounter. It's too late. I'm already here. Yeah, we did it. What's that? Dead meat. charge for the tune-up. What are you waiting for? Commendation, get out of there! You and Bird will lift! First of all, I'm sure you'll all be happy to hear that we now have in custody the two men responsible for the series of mini-mart robberies over the past two months. Come on, Commander. What about the masked man on the motorcycle? Secondly, an unidentified man riding a custom motorcycle was also reported at the scene. When the suspect was approached for questioning, he fled. You mean he flew? <laughs> <laughs> the owner of the market said the motorcycle rider stopped the robbers with some sort of blue ray. No comment. Would the robbers be in custody today if the masked marauder didn't show up? Yes. Would you consider him a hero, Commander? Look, as far as the police department is concerned, he's operating outside the jurisdiction of the law. He's not a hero, he's a vigilante. And I'm gonna do my best to make sure that he's apprehended before somebody gets hurt. Uh, how, how long do you think that'll take? <laughs> uh, thank you for your questions. That is all the information we have at this time. You can pick up a packet from Officer Mock before you leave. Thanks. I really hate these things. I gave it the full treatment. Solubility, pyrolysis gas chromatograph, and spectro-infrared photometer. <laughs> now, what you got here is a carbon pigment base, five layers of clear metallic lacquer, and uh, pearl flakes. Not aluminum. Around 10 coats. Good quality. Very expensive. So I'm looking for a custom paint shop. That's your job. I just figure out what's in it, not where it came from. Thanks, Bernie. Good luck. Needs more salt. Did you find what you were looking for? Sort of. Evidence? Just a lead. That's paint chips from the truck that killed Marty. I just had the lab break it down. IA should have run that down a long time ago. Do you tell any of this to Commander Altobelli? No, what for? Well, maybe he can open it up and find out what's going on. Yeah, or maybe he can get lost in internal affairs again. I just can't let that happen. Oh, great. There must be 50 custom shops here. I'm going to need some help. 
You want me to help you? Sorry, man, I haven't used pearl flakes in years. It's too expensive. Hey, but I can make you a great deal on a set of flames for your Mustang. Thanks. Maybe some other time. Great timing, Norman. Yep, it's ours. It is? Are you sure? Sure, recognize it anywhere, see? Big black monster truck. Took ten coats. Pearl metallic. Yeah, cost a fortune. Sure turned out cherry, though, didn't it? Do you keep records? Nope. Just remember that the guy paid in cash. Chris, new hundred dollar bills. Oh. You're not from the IRS, are you? Oh, no. I, uh... Work for Autocraft magazine. Oh, yeah, really? You gonna put me in it? Well, if I could find the owner of the truck. I definitely mentioned you in the article. Yeah, really, that's far out. Yeah. Oh, well, you see that uh, Mercedes over there? Well, the guy that owns that, well, he knows the dude with the black truck. Had the weirdest scratch in that Mercedes. Hey, he didn't want to talk about it much. Just wanted to get it fixed in hurry. You know, come on, come on, come on. I know that car. Now, his name I got. I think. Let me check the office, okay? Would you mind putting that back? I understand you're looking for a friend of mine, Miss McCoy. Where have you been? Hey, this may surprise you, Norman, but uh, I don't sit outside this warehouse waiting for my beeper to go off. Suit up. You're going out. What's up? I just heard from the Coast Guard. There's a drug disposal this afternoon. Where they sure didn't give you much notice. It was a surprise to them, too. Well, suit up, will you? That van is probably on the street already. I'm monitoring police frequency. If there's a hit, we'll know where.
Intercept. Do you copy? Intercept. Improvement. and Imperial Highway. Uh, I think. I'm alerting the police. Be careful. And don't jeopardize my motorcycle. <laughs> the entire mission. Did you see a black pickup on the monitor back at the hijacking? The only thing I saw was you freeze. Hey, 
I spaced out for a minute. You don't space out on a three million dollar motorcycle. Do you realize what's at stake here? My dream, that's all, just my dream. Norman, did you see a black pickup on the monitor? I don't remember. If it was there, it's on the tape. Well, I want to see that tape. You're not going to see anything until you tell me what's going on. That black pickup, I think it's the truck that killed Marty. Listen, Mark, we had an agreement. This system is to be used only for specific test cases. To hell with your test cases. I need this. And if you don't help me, you can get yourself another guinea pig. All right, I'll pull it this one time. But you have to promise me, any information we find, you turn over to the proper authorities. I will not have this operation jeopardized by your own personal vendetta. Pull it! Hold it. All right, back it up slowly. There, that's it. Can you enlarge the license plate? Let me check that with the DMV. The owner of the truck is Anthony Carrito, 910 Prospect Road, Westlake. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Now, if you don't mind, I have a report to write. Norman, before you start, can you let me into the weight room? I left my clothes inside. Don't you have your key card? It's in my pants pocket. <laughs> Why do I ask? Mike, he came out of nowhere, and the boys couldn't lose him. Who the hell is this? Her name is Sandy McCoy. She works for the department. She was asking about us at the body shop. Mock put her up to it. I didn't know what else to do. Call the airport. Tell them to get the plane ready. And tell the boys it could be trouble. Right. I want my motorcycle back immediately. What did you do to my controls? Mark, respond. Respond, Mark, you... Oh, you... You... You saboteur! What's going on here? Somebody's on the ground. It's right now. Green seven four nine one to blue three six seven four.
forget about the girl. I want him. <laughs> Get up. Great shot! I don't know what came over me. Did you see that? I hit a man. I never did that before. You picked a great time to start. Mama! Green, six, nine, seven, five. To yellow, eight, seven, six, four. No, no, no. Eight, seven, six, Three. There we go. What's happening out there? What's taking them so long? You're beginning to get on my nerves. Hey, there he is. or I give the police your motorcycle. That's blackmail. It's your choice. Do me a favor, Mark. Bring her back in one piece. system. 
Good luck, Jesse. You're on your own. Did you get him? I don't know. He's on your right side. If you can hear me, I know what you're trying to do. Don't backflip the bike, Jesse. It won't work. to questions regarding Commissioner Miller? Yeah. Case pending. No comment. What about Street Hawk? Will you stop calling him that? The press will pick up on it and turn him into some kind of folk hero. Well, he is. In a way. Come on, let's get this over. Oh, I really hate these things. It's impossible. I did it. Mark, it's mathematically impossible to do a 360-degree loop. Figures don't lie. Maybe you added wrong. <sighs> No comment. You still haven't told us anything about the guy on the motorcycle. The unidentified motorcycle rider was also involved with the incident at 910 Prospect Road. When the suspect was approached for questioning, he fled. Come on, Alto Belly. Give us the bottom line. You want the bottom line? That's the last we'll ever see of Street Hawk. Oh.